Alrighty, hello everyone. Um, our group decided to study the effects of a four-day work week on employees in an organization. So my name is Danielle Wagner and I am a human research management major. My name is Casey Boma and I am an entrepreneurial management major. My name is Hannah Teasdale and I'm a marketing major. My name is Alex Olson, I'm a finance major. And I'm Gordon Lee, I'm a business management major. So as we began our preliminary research, we came upon the thesis that a four-day work week increases productivity compared to the traditional five-day work week approach. We kind of thought this was the responses we would expect through our research because of the idea that if you're working four days a week, you're going to have a lot more time to just focus on your work and productivity will increase because your work-life balance should begin to level out a little bit more than the traditional five-day work week. However, we'll explain today through our research that that really was not the case. So the interview questions that we came up with to ask our interviewees are, how would a four-day work week affect your productivity, working 32 hours and getting paid for 40? Is the 9 to 5 approach still ideal for workers? Would a four day work week lead to better job performance? Did stress decline? If yes, how, by how much? Do you currently or have you ever considered implementing a four day work week in your place of employment? Why or why not? What would you consider to be the benefits of a four day work week? What would you consider to be the negatives of impl implementing a four day work week? And is there anything else that you would like to share? All right, so up next, here's a list of our interviewees for our primary research. We interviewed a variety of candidates, and many of them are higher on the organizational structure within their company. They are internal HR managers, CEOs, and supervisors. Otherwise, we do have a few scattered, like, lower employees in the middle range as well. Here are some direct quotes we got from our primary research. One quote was, during busy times in my industry, we are working 40 plus hours and working hard. There isn't idle time. During these times, a four day work week wouldn't be practical. So this is just saying how there's minimum idle time and when we need to meet with our clients, it um, is a negative to scheduling. Another quote was, reducing my work week from 40 hours to 32 hours would reduce the amount of work I could get done in a given week. So for some corporations, you need the full 40 hours to get the work done that you need to get done. So the biggest consequence this quote showed us was just the fact that, say your company implements 32 hour work weeks, however you have a very high workload every week. If you need those 40 hours every week and you rely on those 40 hours to get all of your work done, you're going to either be going home with work to do and feel automatically more stressed or you're going to be missing out on the work you need to do. Another quote that we got from, our, from one of our interviews is, if I could expect staff to do their work in 32 hours per week, I would and do just hire less staff. This relates to the fact that if you can get work done in a short amount of time, why wouldn't you save on costs and just hire less staff? So another quote we had from one of our interviews was, perhaps this would be something feasible in a large corporation where there is duplication and overlap and things moved at a corporate pace. We operate quickly and on small margins, so we have to work hard and expect a lot out of our full-time employees. So this interviewer is actually the owner of a small business and she's just basically reinstating the idea that in order to have a 32-hour work week, that means that you're going to have employees gone at various times throughout the week. So the work that they're doing needs to be able to be duplicated and overlapped so your employee or your coworkers can pick up where you left off. Here's some data that we gathered from a Facebook survey. Um, we created a poll on Facebook and gave it out to some of our peers. So we thought it'd be a good idea to get some data from uh, those entering the work entering uh, workforce where they're going to be working five days a week and see what they thought about. Uh, only working four days a week. As you can see here, we had an overwhelming response of yes. They would be more likely to take a job if they were only required to show up to four days a week, working only 32 hours instead of 40. Only 2% said no, they wouldn't really like the flexibility, while three people out of the survey said that they would be neutral to it, and it would not make them more or less willing to work there. As you can see through this post, um, quite a bit of 
millennials or more of the younger generations are interested in the idea of a four-day work week as opposed to the five-day work week, which then brings us to our interviews who kind of contradicted this research. Here we have a pie chart of our interviewees' responses to implementing a four-day work week. We can see that the red section indicates no to implementing or wanting a four-day work week, while the blue section shows the interviewees who is for the four-day work week. We can see that nearly 80% of our interviewees rejected the idea. When we compare this to the Facebook poll, who again is made up of peers in our age group, we see the contrast because many of our interviewees are higher on the organizational structure. The majority of them said no because they're again internal and higher CEO, HR management, um, that way it doesn't, it's not feasible for their business and therefore they reject the idea. So it was through this graph that we learned that we were missing some characteristics in the equation. So our preliminary research showed us that people like the idea of increasing their work-life balance but what we learned through the interviews was that a lot of times a company cannot and it doesn't make sense for them to incorporate a four-day work week versus a five-day. This is a quote from our, one of our secondary sources from CNN. This actually relates back to one of the quotes that Alex mentioned earlier. Um, and it says here, I don't know about you, but the prospect of a four day work week scares me. I already have a hard enough time getting my regular work hours done over five days. Our next quote was from Forbes and it says, a four day or compressed work week is offered as an option to at least some employees at 43% of companies but only 10% of those companies make it available to all or most of their employees. This just basically says that a lot of employees like the idea of it, but it's not really feasible for these companies. Like referring back to our Facebook poll, how new entries into the uh, workforce are very interested in this kind of a work week, but for most companies, it's not gonna work out very well for them. What are your initial thoughts to a four-day work week? It's probably similar to this photo here. Eight more hours to relax, eight more hours of vacation, in other words, eight more hours of freedom. But through our research, we found that four-day work week doesn't make an employee more productive. Rather, the stress of the workload tends to build because the 40 hours that you used to have are reduced to 32 hours. Therefore, it's harder to complete or reach a target that you normally take the 40 hours to do. Although with a four-day work week, you gain an extra eight hours of personal life, but when your boss asks you, are you stressed from the workload or have you met your goal, don't be like... No! No! <laughs> oh. We concluded that even though there are positive traits to a four-day work week, such as the balance between uh, real life and work life, when we compare this to the traditional five-day work week, it's not very feasible for certain businesses. Questions that we have to consider are, but not limited to, the following. How, like, how big the company is, how many employees do they have, the hours of operation, like, for example, do they open 24-7, or what the company does. Overall, we reject our initial hypothesis of does a four-day work week increase productivity compared to the traditional five-day work week approach. Before we conclude, we want to share the four main takeaways you should consider when looking to a four-day work week. The first one is nearly 80% of our interviewees said that the productivity would decrease or if it changes only a little bit. Secondly, you must consider whether or not the company has a low client contact. That is, does the job require the employees to interact and meet, with, and meet with employees on a daily basis? Thirdly, does the company have the ability to duplicate? That is, will the employee be able to fulfill a task of another employee that is not scheduled for the day? Things that we have to consider is, what are the work that is normally being done being done now that the employees only schedule a four-day work week? 
And lastly, the fourth main takeaway, whether or not a company should implement a four-day work week depends on the workload um, projects in the company, that is, will the company having that less eight hours, will that make you more stressed because of the work that you haven't completed because you, that extra eight hours is no longer there? Um, will the employee be able to meet their goals and targets and, or will the stakes exceed then causing stress to the employees? Thank you for taking your time to join us today. Can we help answer or clarify any questions that you may have regarding the productivity of a four-day work week?